We are in the midst of a major shift from volume-based care to value-based care, where providers are asked to uh, manage uh, the health of very large populations and focus on preventive care. The basic idea is that if we spend more resources on primary care, we may be able to avoid very expensive emergency and acute visits to emergency departments and hospitals. And that's where patients and medical home come in. So that's a model that is supposed to enhance uh, coordination of care and provide more comprehensive and safe and accessible and patient-centered care to, uh, to the patient population of primary care practices. Patients and medical home have literally hundreds of components that practices are asked to implement. And in reality, practices are choosing a subset of those capabilities. And so they end up uh, having big difference in terms of what is being implemented and what is not being implemented. And that's what we're doing in this paper. We actually are the first to have all this implementation data and merge it with patient claims data to see you know, what tends to work, what doesn't tend to work. And so one important policy implication is that it would be useful for the big participants in this ecosystem, whether it's the patients, the payers, you know, the providers, uh, and so on, to have access to the more detailed information uh, that is being collected in this process of, of recognition for patients and medical home. That can definitely improve their ability to both incentivize certain behaviors and to track the uh, impact on their member population. Well, it's well known that GDP, gross domestic product, offers an incomplete measure of economic output. For example, it ignores things like the value of leisure, home production, uh, and what we look in our paper, uh, the value of health and human capital. The value of health and human capital, or the value of life, is one of the most valuable productive assets we have in the economy. And not only does it affect kind of the levels of output that we look at it, but also is gonna impact how we look at fluctuations in the business cycle. So what we do in this paper is, given the um, quantitative importance of health and the value of human life, and the cyclical fluctuations in mortality, we show that it has uh, big impacts on how we think about output in the business cycle in the U.S. and globally. We've gotten a sense that GDP misses what we think are important things, uh, and it might change how we think about economic output and the business cycle, but there hasn't been a paper showing us kind of how these things matter, these unmeasured components, how are they gonna impact how we think about the business cycle. So there's been some discussion in the past noting that uh, when we ignore these certain items, it's gonna change how we think about the level of output in the US, but that hasn't been tied to the business cycle, which is kind of uh, one of the major focuses of um, policymakers and economists. So I have for many years been uh, interested in studying about the production of health. This research is different in kind of looking at not, not short-term fluctuations, but rather kind of the longer-term changes in the economy on, on, in this case, drug deaths. There's been a hypothesis that we're seeing rising death rates, particularly for uh, middle-aged whites, but also possibly more generally, that are due to what's been termed as deaths of despair. And so what I see in this work is that if we look at those areas, they do have higher than average death rates, but it's not primarily because of the economic conditions, it's because of other factors that happen to co-occur, that happen to be correlated with the economic conditions. So what that suggests to me is that we need to look at other aspects one of which is, is primary prevention. So, so I do think we need a public health campaign on the, the level of you know, the anti-smoking campaigns, the anti-drug drive, drunk driving campaigns to try to deal with this. We need to have this broader question and broader thought about you know, what, what are the benefits and costs of, of lots of different kinds of drugs and how do we use them responsibly. Mm -hmm.